क्लास यूर न्यू टॉपिक इज फोर्स वट इज फोर्स बिफोर आई गिव यू अ प्रॉपर डेफिनेशन जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस टाइम दिस इज इन रेस्ट पोजिशन एंड इफ आई मेक अ फोर्स देन इट चेंज इट्स पोजिशन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट फोर्स इफ एनी बॉडी इज इन रेस्ट देन यू कैन If any body is in rest then by applying force you can give the motion to that particular body understand now one more thing now class this pen is in motion and if i want to stop this pen i have to make a force it means by applying force you can stop that object by applying force you can move the body you can stop the body number 3 is this is a shape class this is a shape and if i make a force now you can see this is change now so it means by applying force we can change shape understand so these are the small small properties of force class you can find force in so many ways number first is push and pull in number second you can see force as a stretch number third you can see force as a squeeze in whenever you squeeze anything you apply force when you stretch anything you apply force when you push or pull you apply force understand in these all you can use your force so number first is push and pull so how we apply force in push and pull let's see so now we start our topic with first topic of this force is force as push and pull understand force as first is force as push and pull so what is the meaning of push you can see in this picture the meaning of push and pull when you class if i am talking about this pen in this time if i am applying force to this pen then this is called push and if i want to take this pen from that side to my side this is called pull so you can see push and pull are the forces you can see without force you all know without force there is no motion there is no motion motion means you can say any kind of displacement understand so without force there is no motion or we can say there is no displacement do you know the meaning of displacement 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 means if this is the position of this object in this time the position is this and if i make a force then it change its position now this is the position a this is position b from a to b this is called displacement understand this is called displacement so without force you are not able to displaced any object understand any kind of object in this time also i make a force maybe force is very small but there is a force so in this time i push this so it change its position it there is a motion motion means when it change its position this is called motion and from point a to point b this is called displacement it means how much it displaced from position a to position b and if i am talking about pull what is pull now class in this time from point b i take it and pull it from position b to position a again you can see in pulling also it displaced 
it, there is a motion yes or no there is a motion and there is a displacement also so it means in push and in pull both are force that's why because of force there is a displacement there is a motion is it clear so whenever you will see any kind of force you can see displacement you can see motion these are the part of the force you can see so many other things also but displacement and motions are also there so whenever you will see the push and pull you can see displacement and motion is it clear so for push and pull these two words are very very important okay class now your second topic is force as a stretch a stretch means class you can see here in this time this is a rubber band and this is a length of this rubber actual length so i stretch it you can see the length is changed now when i apply force this is the actual length of this rubber and when i apply force the length of this rubber is increased too much understand so how it's possible when i apply force then you can see there is a stretching this is called stretching so in this time i apply force and you can see it is stretched the length of this rubber band is changed so this is called stretching you can see we apply force here without applying force we are not able to stretch number third is squeezing squeezing it's very important class squeezing means this is your normal rubber and if I, if i apply force so you can see i press it i make a force then it is squeeze so by applying force we can by applying force we can squeeze it yes or no we can squeeze it so what is the meaning of squeezing when we apply force when we squeeze it its shape change yes or no so again what is the meaning of that by applying force you can change the shape of body you can change the size of the body yes or no by applying force as a stretch you can see you can change size of object and here by squeezing you can change shape 